It's David here from Site3D and I'm going to quickly show you infiltration in Site3D. 3D. So we have a pond here and I want to be able to uh, allow water to infiltrate into the base and the sides of this particular structure. The way we do that is by going into the earthwork and pond tools, select the particular pond in this case, could be a tank as well, and I'm going to go to the properties. Now at the uh, bottom here we have a infiltration into the base, infiltration into the side and a safety factor. So we can have a look at this and we can say a base rate we'll just do of uh, 0.01 meters per hour and we'll do a side rate of say 0.02 meters per hour. Now you might want to set these differently because say some uh, local authorities assume that the base will silt up over time and will have a lower rate or no rate depending on um, how bad it silts up over time. So you want to be able to set these independently. Click OK, close out of this, and then we can run our simulation. Now I should note that Site3D is going to automatically calculate the surface area of the base and the sides based upon the information, the actual um, 3D surface information. So we're going to go to the uh, drainage analysis and we're going to go to run storm. And I've got a single storm, hit run simulation, and then we get our results. And if I scroll down, we'll be able to find our uh, pond information. So we have a pond structure at Manhole 17 and it tells us the infiltration rate in the base and the infiltration rate in the side, as well as the safety factor. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go back into my uh, pond editing tools and I'm going to remove the infiltration just by setting these two values to zero. And I will rerun that simulation. So now we have two sets. So the first one is with infiltration. So we can go to the bottom and I can do the same on the other one. We can scroll down and have a look at the uh, pond information. This one has zero infiltration on the side and the base. And I can scroll right to the bottom and we can then do a direct comparison. So our pond is at manhole S17. So with infiltration, we have a uh, 0 0.46, uh, 426 meter depth of water in here. Whereas for our um, uh, non-infiltrating, we have a 0.44 uh, meter depth. So we have more water in the uh, pond which does not infiltrate, which is what we'd expect because obviously when it infiltrates away, the water level will reduce. So that's showing us exactly what we want here. Thanks for watching.